dun dun dun. What? Dividing by I. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. Whoa. That denominator's imaginary. Like your friends. But what? I want to make it real. A real denominator. So I need a I to the fourth power, because I to the fourth power is one fun. Check out powers of I. So then I need to make one into a four, so how many more do I need? I need three, two, two, three. That's why I multiply by the magic one. I to the third divided by I to the third. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's just like one. But what? It's like your opinion, man. So then I multiply straight across, and that's three I to the third divided by I to the fourth. What's that? That's three I to the third divided by one. Fun. But that's just three I to the third. <laughs> and then <laughs> Woo! box and flower for this next part. Let's get on down here, but we need you. Come here. Come here. Yeah. If I take a complex number multiplied by its conjugate, then I get the difference of squares a plus b a minus b. That's a squared minus b i squared. So then i squared each term and i squared evaluates to minus one. So what's that? Minus and minus make moss. That gets you the sum of squares. So I'm going to take that up here because whenever I'm, look at that, whenever I have a complex number in the denominator and I want to realize that denominator, then I multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. The conjugate is the same numbers with the opposite sign. So that's why I'm multiplying by 9 minus i, 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 and 9 minus i, i, i. Then I see in that numerator, I go ooh, ooh, 9 times 4 on a good day is 36, and then minus 4i. Would you call me? I'm not wearing my glasses. Oh, and then in the denominator, that's 9 squared plus 1 squared. Why? Because it's the sum of squares down there, and I see I have a y here, I mean a 1 here, and a 1 there. That's like that 1 is squared there. So, in that numerator, that's a 36 minus 4i. What'd you call me? So then, that's 81 plus 1. Fun. So what's that? That's 36 minus 4i divided by 80. But you're not going to leave it like that. Why? Because it needs to be an A plus B I form. So that's a 36 over 82. You got to separate the real part from the imaginary part. 4 divided by 82 I, I, I. Dunna, dunna. I need to reduce. <sighs> I deduce, I can reduce by a deuce, then that 36 is now 18 divided by 41. I think that's half of 82. Yeah, and then that's minus 2 divided by 41. Fun. I, I, I. <laughs> Woo! Box and flower. Then, up here, dun dun dun, same thing, but I have two terms in the numerator, two terms in the denominator, but everywhere I go, I see the same trick. I want to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. That's 4 minus i, and 4 minus i, then i have to first enter at our last. Ooh, fine. I'll do it. That 7 times that 4 is a 28. Great. That 7 times that 1 is a minus 7i. 4 and 4 is 16i. And then finally, i have a minus 4i squared. And that's how they do it. Using that guy down, oh. <laughs> Using that guy down there. The sum of square. Then this, uh, mm, why is it gotta be male? 
Oh my gosh, you people. Squared. And then that's plus one squared. Why is it a one? Because there's a one in front of that. Had it been a different number, it would have been different. Yeah, I'm different. So then what? You pull up to the scene. Your ceiling's missing. This is a minus four times a minus one fun, which results in a positive four, sure. That four and that 28 makes a 32. Again? Yeah, okay. So, and, um, eight, nine, nine, fine. Cause 16 minus seven is nine. Heavens to Mercatroid. So that's a plus nine, I, I, I. I'm gathering my real part, my imaginary part. So then that's a, a 16 and a one. So then that's all over 17. But once again, you gotta split it. Yeah, so that's a 32 divided by 17 plus a nine divided by 17, I, I, I have to have my answer in A plus B, I, I, I. <laughs> Woo! Boxer and flower.